Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Emporium. I wanted to show off a, uh, a timeline I created and I want to kind of get to the bottom of uh, if it's if the Nintendo Switch is going to be a Pascal based or if, a, if it's a Maxwell based. And I know a lot of rumors have been speculating that it's going to be Maxwell based. But after I put together this timeline and did a little bit of research, I almost firmly believe that it's going to be a Pascal based, and here's why. As you see in this chart, uh, Parker basically, which is the um, uh, the X2 for NVIDIA, uh, had restructured their roadmap in early 2014, and what that tells me is that they, I think the reason why they restructured it was because that uh, they entered in uh, to contracts with Nintendo to create a mobile chip to be put into the NX. Now, I so I just somehow don't think that they just slapped a, an X1 into it and called it good when they had uh, put in what they, you know, the PR talk is called like 500 man hours into the switch. And, um, but they, they were custom designing this whole time, uh, all the way from September of 2014. I mean, of course, you know that, uh, for most companies, you know, they, they start working on the next project after something is released. And, uh, Maxwell second generation was introduced on September 18th of 2014 and that was the Maxwell second generation of course and uh, during that time Nintendo had just you know ended up signing up the contracts at that time so obviously that during that I don't think that um, you know, they they were just going to slap it on and say, oh, yeah, you know, because, uh, you know, as you know, that in mobile devices and stuff that usually, especially for a gaming console, they usually have to have a custom C SOC uh, system on a chip is what it stands for. And, um, and in, you know, in my notes it says the roadmap was changed to ensure mobile and desktop GPU technologies are released simultaneously, new memory technologies, and the 16 nano manufacturing process. Uh, at that time, they were trying to reduce the the basically enco encompass a new uh, technology, and so. Uh, a little bit further down the road in around March of 17th of 2015 of course Iowata came to the stage and said hey we have a new system this is the Nintendo NX we're gonna codename it and during that time of course a bunch of speculation started taking over and said yeah we're gonna be using industry leading chips and stuff like that well obviously as we all know that uh, building a new architecture always takes time and so when they said that they were doing uh, 500 man hours uh, uh, they've been in the relationship only with Nintendo for about two years so if you look down the timeline just a little bit you'll see that Pascal was released uh, May 27th of 2016 so basically that um, uh, then NVIDIA had announced it a little bit later um, in October 20th, 2016 that uh, they were actually powering the Nintendo Switch. And so I, what I, in, in this video, what I want to try to portray is that um, I honestly believe that Pascal is in the Nintendo Switch. I somehow just, I, I cannot, I don't think I can believe uh, Eurogamer who came out with that rumor or I know that they were extremely specific and everything, but um, I just, I think 
that personally that Pascal is in the switch. Um, you know, the Parker, uh, I know that is supposed to go into vehicles and stuff like that, uh, at least graphically, uh, graphical vehicles or self-driving cars, that kind of stuff. And I do understand that it's uh, part of that, that basically the Parker is supposed to go into the uh, the self-driving vehicles or whatever the case might be but looking at this once again looking at this timeline it all fits you know that uh, when Nintendo signed the contract and back in 2014 and they started developing this SOC or this customized switch uh, custom uh, chip that um, excuse me that basically that I think it took time to develop and I think at the same time they were developing Pascal during that time because obviously it came out on May 27th of 2016 and so I personally think that um, um, that the Pascal is definitely in the switch I don't I, I just can't foresee um, uh, Maxwell being in there and even if Maxwell was in there I guess uh, at least it's the second generation uh, but I I still highly doubt it because personally the way the development ended up um, occurring on this timeline of course that I think they were they were working on new technology uh, and by the time it's the Pascal released on May 27, 2016, I think that that gave them enough time because they they didn't start production yet on the Switch at, during that time, especially around May. And um, so, I want to say that there's a very good possibility that Pascal's in there. And I don't think we have anything to worry about when it comes to the Switch. Um, you know, because the Pascal obviously does save a lot of battery life. Tons of battery life from what I understand. Uh, and it could last between four to six hours, maybe even seven, um, from what I read. And yeah I think that's it I I honestly think that Pascal is powering the Nintendo switch um, all right well le um, that's it for this video I appreciate you tuning in and I do um, would like you to go ahead and hit that s smash that like button hit subscribe uh, definitely stay tuned for any updates I I try to uh, tell the truth on stuff and that's probably why I don't do a lot of news videos but I try to look for truth in this, into uh, different subjects before I post out my opinion um, but yeah leave the comments in below uh, tell me what you think and I will see you in the, all the next video thank you so much